Today, Mount Etna in Italy erupted again spewing lava and thick ash into the sky of Sicily, Italy. Another eruption of Mount Etna occurred in Sicily, reported La Sicilia newspaper, citing Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. One of the world's most active volcanoes, Mount Etna, erupted on Sunday, spewing lava and clouds of ash high above the island of Sicily in Mediterranean. This image, taken on November 13 by the Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission, has been processed using the mission's shortwave infrared band to show the lava flow at the time of acquisition. Standing at a height of around 3,329 meters, Mount Etna is a near-constant state of activity. The ash and clouds created by frequent eruptions pose a threat to the nearby city of Catania, located on the coast of Sicily. Footage of the latest event, shared on social media, shows large plumes of molten rock and lava shooting into the night sky. Despite volcanic activity and ashfall, Catania Airport remains open. Mount Etna is not the only volcano monitored in Europe. Iceland is also preparing for an upcoming volcanic eruption. An earthquake was recorded in the city of Grindavik when a magma tunnel formed beneath the area, leading to thousands of people being evacuated. Satellite data can be used to detect signs of small changes that can predict an eruption. When an eruption begins, optical and radar instruments can capture a variety of phenomena associated with it, including lava flows, landslides, ground cracks and earthquakes. Atmospheric sensors on satellites can also identify gases and aerosols released by eruptions, as well as measure their impact on the wider environment. Learn more about how the Copernicus Sentinel satellite can detect and track volcanic gas emissions, changes in ground deformation, as well as plumes of volcanic ash. Etna eruptions rarely result in fatalities, although one major incident in 1843 resulted in 56 deaths, according to Volcano Live. However, the volcano is known to cause destructive earthquakes, with one in 2018 injuring at least 28 people and damaging homes and infrastructure in the surrounding area. Since early October, Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology has been observing signs of eruptive activity originating from Mount Etna. This comes after an eruption in August forced Catania Airport to close due to thick clouds of volcanic ash covering the area. Volcanic ash poses a serious risk to aircraft, but not just because of poor visibility. Ash particles can damage windshields and compressor fan blades and can cause failure of critical navigation and operational instruments. These particles can also be sucked into aircraft engines, melting and re-solidifying into lumps that can reduce their performance. Sunday's eruption also resulted in a code red warning for flights from the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology in Italy and has sent clouds of ash over the nearby towns of Milo and Zafirana Etnia. Etna isn't the only volcanic concern on the continent. Iceland recently declared a state of emergency in anticipation of volcanic activity in and around the Reykjanes Peninsula, a region to the southwest. The entire town of Grindavik was evacuated on Saturday, and the Icelandic Meteorological Office has reported around 900 earthquakes in the region since midnight on Monday.